M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. Bofeng and other models can use this new-ish app called Walkie Talkie Tool. It works on Android and iPhone. You can see my Bofeng UV32 at the moment, and I've turned on the Bluetooth by going menu. And there are several Bofeng radios that you can use this with. So go to Bluetooth, select, and just turn it on. Up and down, then on, plus press select. So now I can read and write from this radio using this app. Now this app that you're seeing on the right hand side, it doesn't just work with your radio for programming. And if we click now read, it's going to read my the contents of my radio wirelessly, no cable required. And the reason you're seeing my phone, which is here, is because I've got a cable connected to my phone and using a program called Visor to actually see what I'm doing. So if you look here, We'll go to channel mode first. And we can look at different channels. The current channel is number one. And at the top here, we put the name, the frequency, receive and transmit, and the CTCSS. Okay. We go to a new channel. And there are zones as well, but I'm not using the zones, but there are zones. Uh, channel number, let's go to two. And then see if it's different. One looks like it's the same. Let's go to five. Yeah, that one's different. Let's try and find a blank one. Uh, let's go to 16. Yeah, that looks like it's not being used. So if we just put in the name. So I'm going to just going to put in the word PubNet. And the received frequency, which is 434.550. And it's a lot easier. I could use the keypad, but I'm using my PC because that's the nice thing about Visor. You, it lets you use your PC. That's it. And then transmit CTCSS is... 77 that's done let's check that's in that yeah that's all in there we can select the power and that's it you know you're done on that channel and uh, let's go to channel one and we got frequency mode this is like when you're you know when it's just in we call it vfo mode don't we I've got it on airband at the moment. No need for an offset there, but we're not transmitting on that one, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, optional is all your settings. So battery save, Vox, backlight time, dual receive. It only receives one at a time. And so on. Now, if we go back, this will actually connect to several radios. At the moment, We've got the UV32 that you can see. But as you scroll down, <coughs> there's many, many other models of Bofunk there as well. Many ask for the DM32, but it's not in there. Like so. Uh, we can go back. And back. And uh, this is where we connect. We just click here to find, you know, connect Bluetooth and it finds it. Obviously, when it's turned on and so on. Now, if you go here, you can create your own group and people can talk to you, but they talk via the Internet. So you would tap your phone and go, hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. And as long as they've got an app as well and they're in your group. So it's almost like a PTT app as well. And I can hear myself on my phone there. Go home. So there's more to these apps and there's people there that have joined and you can follow them that are also uh, doing this. Let's click at the top here, radios, add a radio. So we're on the UV32, aren't we? So let's see if I can see that listed and you can join. There it is there, join. Okay, I've sort of joined that group, plans. Not sure what that is. Follow circles, recommend, and then you've got your own personal account that you could. When you click here, you've got to log in and create an account. So I just wanted you to check this out. I'm going to put the links in the description for the iPhone version and the Android. You can use your iPad, of course. There's the new one I've been doing videos on today, which I would say is almost like a shack in the box. So yeah, there's this little shop here as well. Can we click the shop? That one, that shack in the box one has a has a middle antenna. Yeah, it's not actually, let me click it. <laughs> and it looks like you can search things here. Let's search something, M0FXB. 
Start again. Um, zero FXP search. No, uh, maybe it's per different radios. And you got people posting there. So I'll put the links in because I think if you've got one of these bow funds, which most of us have, you might be missing out here. Uh, these days you can buy modules and you can connect, um, mo you know, just with a tiny little connector in the twin pin of the side of an older bow, bow fund. So I've got one lying around somewhere. Right? I have, but anyway. Um, and you can be tra uh, programming your UV5R. So have a quick look here before we end. Go to the where it says frequency read right on the bottom right. Click the the model and let's look for. But oh, there's some other models there by the way. I just thought I just noticed that. Let's open it again. Read and write. Walkie talkie. That's just connecting. Select model and look. Radiodity Badgerton. That's a new one that's out. Oh, wonder if they got this. Oh, they've got the seven three hundred and the eight three hundred. That's interesting because I have one of them here. I might give that a go. We've got the 7800, which is like a different shack in the box. It's going to go menu. Make sure the Bluetooth is on. This has got a middle antenna, so you can do all the receive HF. On Bluetooth. All right, menu. We're getting there. It's right at the end, of course. Bluetooth 48 menu, I'm going to turn it on, just in the settings. Right, Bluetooth's on for that. Uh, we might have to reconnect it, so I better turn off the, just quickly turned off. There's the one I just did, and you can see that. So if you look in the middle, there's an antenna in the middle there. It gives you all the HF stuff, a bit like the TK11 and the Rad Tails. And let's make sure we are connected to it. I think we are. Just, I need to check, really. But anyway, let's just click read. And see if it finds it. If it doesn't, I just need, I think I'll disconnect and reconnect. Uh, it's, it's, it's read something because the, the, the both things off, so it must have read channel oh, i feel like it hasn't quite read yet let's do zone two no zone one read no it's not really let me just disconnect and read no it's not finding it but anyway worth a try just really it's more about information to let you know you know give it a go bye for now and yeah that's the bj Eight three hundred, seven three hundred, and then we had the the uh, UV thirty two, didn't we? Bye for now.